Hey YouTube, it's your girl Jess Coco and I am back. Um, I did a three part <laughs> video of this look. Um, it was, it's very long. If you want, I guess, to actually see it, then I, if I have like 10 requests or more, then I'll definitely put up every piece of it. Um, if not, this is the uh, revamped fast version of it and it's just you seeing the finished product I apologize again I do have it it's on my computer if you want to see it I'll get I'll need 10 requests or more um, in order for me to actually upload all of them because they are long they're like I think a minimum of 12 minutes each and they're three parts so I didn't want to bore anybody but I definitely want to um, I want to share this with you because it was requested um, and thank you to all my new subscribers and all of my old subscribers and thanks to everyone who watches my videos I appreciate it even if you're not a subscriber uh, but you are tuning in I do appreciate it um, so let me get started with what I did and you know you can kind of go from there um, the first thing that I did do was um, I washed my face and I put my moisturizer on um, after I did that, I sprayed my face with the Urban Decay D-Slick. Um, this is a great, great, great summertime help for keeping your makeup set. It is 106 degrees where I live. Okay, heat index, I think of like 120. Crazy. So I'm in the house, so you're going to probably get a lot of videos with this look, this, you know, sweater on, because it's chilly. I got fans going and everything, so I'm a little chilly right now. Um, but yeah. I'm going to be shooting out videos because I'm not leaving my house. Sorry. Um, the next thing that I did do was my brow. Um, brows. The items that I do use for my brows, um, I use the MAC 212 brush. I also use the MAC 102, which is the brow brush. Um, I use MAC's brow pencil in spite. I use what I believe is a discontinued product, but you can find any um, any eyebrow kit, any, uh, what do you call that stuff? Any eyeshadow, I'm sorry. Um, after I use the, the spike on my brow to fill it in to kind of draw the line, I'll go in and I'll um, just use this powder which is very very close to espresso I have espresso and I want to say that this probably is espresso but I got this little set at a CCO um, and I just thought it was really cute really easy if I am traveling or doing something I don't want you know I want to have more fun colors but also just have a brow thingy I could do that so I use that and like I said I did use my Pro Long Wear Concealer in NW45 for my brow um, my highlight for my brow is going to be, I guess I can set these brushes down, um, the MAC um, Mineralized Skin Finish. It was a duo that came out. Um, this half is the Mineralized Skin Finish Natural, and this half is the Shimmer. Um, and this is the Deep Dark one. Um, these make me break out, I think, because whatever the mineralized that's in them on my skin, um, so I put this highlighter and it's so funny now that I'm saying this, I'm repeating this and I'm saying it out loud. I've noticed again, I told you all that my skin was breaking out. I have not worn makeup in about two weeks. It's been so hot and I just wanted to kind of give my skin, I guess, that whole time to breathe. Um, so I, this might be making me break out. Hmm. We'll see after I wipe this sucker off if I'm breaking out there. Because I've been noticing, like, around my brow, I've been noticing, like, you know, whiteheads. So, I'm not sure. Um, but I did use that for my highlight. And if I don't use that, I'll use Margin Blush for my highlight. Um, I did bring my concealer all the way down on my lid to just kind of neutralize um, the darkness of my lid. After that, I put one... Actually, before I put that on, 